starting out the video with a totally random clip for you guys. Okay, this is for Jimmy Ricky and JRV Kevin. Jimmy Ricky and Kevin, look what we're getting. Can you believe it? <laughs> Finally, we're getting a Chick-fil-A. So it's not even done yet, but it does say now hiring out front. Maybe I should go in and try to get a job. No, I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So now you guys can come visit me and I can take you guys to Chick-fil-A. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. <laughs> I decided today I'm going to give you a fitness update. It's been since the 1st of June since I've given a fitness update. So I figured it was about time. Even though I've been MIA for a Sorry about that, I got a phone call. So what I was saying was, even though I've been MIA, I haven't fallen off the wagon. I'm still doing well with my fitness and um, I've actually lost some weight. So since my last update, the beginning of June, I've continued to eat healthy and I even kicked it up a notch by just doing my own version of just a super clean keto. And it's a lower fat and I cut out the cheese and most of the dairy, but as I'm sitting here drinking my iced coffee with half and half in it, well, I never give up my half and half. I'm just not giving it up. So anyways, yeah, I cut out like cottage cheese and sour cream, you know, just stuff like that is what I'm talking about. I still use half and half. That's about the only dairy I use. Um, another big thing is portion control. I used to do HCG in the past and with hormone stuff going on with the menopause thing and all that good stuff, <laughs> I put that on the back burner for indefinitely. And I did that a long time ago, but, um, I can still eat the foods that I would eat on a round of HCG. So that's basically what John and I have been doing. But to be honest, I got so sick of the foods because they're so plain and like plain chicken breast and stuff. I just can't do it. <laughs> so we switched them up a little bit, but we're basing it on the foods that you would eat on the HCG plan and going with more calories than you would have on that plan, obviously, because you only get 500 calories a day. So anyway, I'm not going into explaining all that, but um, we decided just to start eating the way we would if we were on a round of HCG. It's working and it's working really well. I'm down, let's see, since the beginning of May, I'm down a total of 22 pounds. So uh, it's, it's working fabulous. And since I've kicked it up that notch, I'm down 12 pounds. So, and that's been for the past two months. So I think that's pretty good. And I don't remember how much John's down, but he didn't start doing it with me until sometime in the middle of June. And he's down like 20 some pounds in just that short time. But you know, men tend to lose weight quicker. And he's really good at like, when he gets his mindset to it, he sticks to it. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't cheat or anything. So he's been doing really good. And he's almost to where he wants to be, I think. I'm not really sure. But we're going to go into kind of a maintenance mode um, pretty soon in the next couple weeks, I suppose. I still like to get off a little bit more weight. I'll give you kind of like a little body shot, even though I wasn't really planning on doing that. But I have on like <laughs> cut off sweatpants for shorts right now. So anyways here we go because if you watched maybe my lifting videos or something you might kind of I don't know if you paid attention to body shots and weight lifting videos or not but I know I did and I know I can see a difference so I'm doing this body shot as much for me as I am for anybody else that might be interested so that way I can compare even though the shorts are like super baggy but whatever actually my shirts a little baggy too which is good because this shirt was skin tight and I couldn't even wear it before so yeah, um, I'm not going to lift up my shirt or anything like that, but I still have some work to do. I know that. 
but I'm looking a lot better than I was and I'm definitely feeling a lot better than I was. So let me sit back down. So we've been doing really good and I'm hoping to do maybe some cooking videos, maybe some food prep stuff at some point in August, but right now um, it's actually pretty boring. <laughs> we've been eating like on Sundays, I've been prepping our food for the week. I am not a leftover person. I think I've told you guys that before. There's only a couple things that I'll eat leftover. One of them is burgers. I've made burgers on Sunday. I don't know how many times, three or four times. <laughs> and that's what I've eaten all week. And you know what? I'm fine with it. It doesn't bother me. I can eat that and I'm okay with it. And uh, I can also do ground beef and I season it with like taco seasoning and I put some onions in it and stuff like that. And then I can put that on top of a salad and do like a taco salad and there's different variations of that that I can do. That's a big one for me. And I can't even tell you how many times I've eaten different versions of salads with taco meat on them in the past three or four weeks. It's been a lot. In fact, I have a package of hamburger that after this video, I'm gonna cook it up and make some more taco meat because we're almost out. <laughs> but you know what, whatever works. I've also made like, I've grilled up some chicken breast a couple different times. I actually cooked a whole turkey. Well, it, it was just the breast, like didn't have the legs and stuff on it, but it was just the breast. I actually cooked that whole thing. It was a small one. It fit in my Instant Pot. I have the big Instant Pot, but it fit in there just fine. So it was a smaller turkey, but I cooked that and um, I couldn't eat any of it. I just couldn't do it. It was like, this is too much like being on a round of HCG. I can't eat this. <laughs> So anyways, I didn't need it. I mean if I could put like bacon on it or maybe some cheese or some barbecue sauce or something Then that would be fine. I love that but we've cut all that stuff out So and, and I'm sticking to it. I have been super strict and I'm just I'm just doing it because I'm sick of being overweight and feeling like crap all the time and not having any energy and having my knees hurt all the time and you know just my clothes don't fit. I hate it when my clothes don't fit and my clothes fit now. So I'm so happy about that. Seriously. And I'm, you know what? Right here. I pat myself on the back. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm proud of myself. Doggone it. And, um, yeah. And I quit going to the, um, my ice is all melted, but I quit going to the like Big B and Tim Hortons and stuff. And I just kept sticking with making my own iced coffees. So I know for sure they're sugar free and I know what's in them. I make my own coffee concentrate. In fact, you might be able to see a jar of it. I just put it together a couple hours ago. It's sitting behind my percolator right now. So tomorrow afternoon, I'll get that out and put it in jars because I am almost out. I'll show you. Right here. Big old pickle jar full of Iced coffee, cold brew. Oh, and guess what else? I, I quit going to the nail salon. I quit going to the nail salon a long time ago actually because I just felt like saving some money and now I'm to the point where I need to save some money. But that's for the next video. <laughs> I'll tell you about that. But anyway, I quit biting my nails. It took me a while, but, and I only bit the nails on my right hand and usually only these two, but sometimes I get, start biting the other ones too. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. But anyways, I guess I have mental issues. So now I'm doing my own nails at home and they're actually looking really good. So this hand doesn't look nearly as good. I shouldn't even show you because my polish looks really crappy right now, but this hand looks a lot better. So I'll have to show you again sometime after I've, you know, polished them all that good stuff but I clean houses for a living so I have to do it like every other day or they look like crap and right now they look like crap so <laughs> okay enough of that next video I'm gonna have this same shirt on because I have some quiet time right now and I'm gonna take advantage of it and I'm gonna make the next video as soon as I'm done with this one <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow